I just do my best there. I've never managed to make the final before. I've always had an event that's really bad for me or I've got injured. Top 10 in the world, so it still sounds good enough to me. I went to go and pull a truck and I did one run. And then on the second run, I felt a pop in my calf. It's not something I've experienced before. I've never really tore a muscle before. I've done a bicep in 2011. But obviously this was a bigger muscle. I was pretty scared. A couple of days after, it's, the bruising's come out. It's functional, I'm able to walk on it. I've managed to squat, log, even done some light farmers. Maybe one week, two weeks, I'll be okay. Worlds is in four weeks, so I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. This time my training's probably been a little bit different because I've just I've been able to give it a little bit more time uh, than previous years. I'm always a bit time constrained uh, due to family commitments. Uh, we've just got a little bit more help recently, so if I go over time, it's not too much of a stress. I can still continue my, my session and finish what I need. Even if I lose a little bit of strength, as long as I get fit and I'm match fit for, the, for, for Worlds, then I'm a good athlete, and that's what I want. Last, last year when I won Britain's Strongest Man, obviously I, I qualified for Worlds. It was in July, my baby was due in July. I said within minutes after, um, even, I think he even said it in my interview when with Kazmai, I said, I won't be going because I've got a child coming. So Colin said to me, oh, you can have your invitation the year after. So that's how I've got my invitation and you know, I've accepted it, so. I never planned on doing Europe's as a full show. I just went there to do vlog. I just threw the hat in. I said, come on, and I'll, I'll do the full show. We needed, they needed athletes in the current times. So I went to support the show, you know, and, and get stuck in with the guys. I had a really good laugh. I finished fourth, which, you know, I had some good events, I had some really bad events. Even loading for me, I was, I was almost shocked at how slow I was. I had a, had a sensation of trying to run and couldn't figure out why my body wasn't moving. I came home after Europe, so I was like, right, need to get fit, need to drop a few kilos, need to get used to doing reps because, you know, Worlds is squat for reps, log for reps, stone for reps. I've lost some weight, I'm fitter, um, and I'm still strong, so Europe's did me a, a big favour. Depends what happens with shows. It's not just the fact that, yeah, a show can go ahead and behind closed doors. It, it all depends on how our lives are affected by what's going on. Can we train properly? You know, I, I, it's not just me. I've got three kids and a wife. I need to make sure that I'm in the position that I can still train like I can now. I want to win Britain's Strongest Man again. I want to um, challenge Europe's Strongest Man. I think I'm good enough. I just need to, I always, I always say it, but I just need the stars to align for me. You know, there's always an obstacle. I did 220 in Europe, and, and I won't say I was disappointed. When I reflected on the conditions and actually how hard that day was for everybody, 220 was pretty serious because, you know, when they built the floor, the floor was perfectly level when they, when they built it. But then you have 160 kilos with 200 kilos, you've got 360 kilos on two feet that it started to move. And the winds were, I mean, you can see the winds and the flags. So I know that, you know, next year, as long as I have a, not very many injuries, 230 is probably going to be comfortable. I've cleaned it in the gym a few times now, um, but I just got cold. Uh, but yeah, they're my main goals really, just, just challenge for Brits again and uh, podium at Europe's, but I want to win Europe's. I enjoy training and, uh, and as soon as I get stronger or I see an improvement, it's like a drug. Especially if I've got really bad at something and then I see improvement. You know, like my fitness was so bad that four or five reps on a log, no matter what weight it was, I was in a real bad way. So now I can do 10 reps on quite a decent weight and I'm in a similar bad way, but I can recover quite quickly. So it doesn't always have to be a strength gain. It can be a fitness gain or you've you're faster at something. It's almost like a drug to us as athletes. You know, I think some people push and say they're motivated by winning things, but actually the majority of us are motivated just by getting stronger.